<laughs> when you had a good voice for singing, you know, because he did do a lot of singing, like in church. And uh, he made his first public appearance when he was nine years old. It was a school competition type thing, and uh, he won the third prize, sang an old ship. And he, at that time, he couldn't even make no kind of music, you know. He just sung the song, and it was it. One thing that was good, he never changed his feelings about people or about anything, really. You know. I'm sure he was very happy with his success and uh, all the things that's happened to him, but uh, good. But it didn't uh, make him think he was... Uh, something that he wouldn't, you know. I uh, lived with him till my wife died in 1958, his mother, which we had uh, been married for 27 years. And uh, then in 1958, he went to Germany in service. I went over there with him. And when we come back in 1960, I remarried. That's when I moved out of Graceland, and I haven't lived in Graceland since then. But I live, my land joins his. I live right at his back doors, so we're still together. I know he can't go out like an ordinary person, you know, because people see him, and of course they recognize him, and they worry about this and that, and uh, there's been so many different news reports out that they've made him into a, a hermit type guy like Howard Hughes was supposed to be in, you know, I don't know how this stuff all gets started, but uh, it's not really true. Ever started in, a, in, a, in the latter part of uh, 54, and he went through 55, was doing pretty good, you know, locally, Arkansas, Texas, Mississippi, just touring the country. Mm -hmm. It's where he met Colonel Parker. In 1955, uh, Colonel Parker was booking shows down through Florida. He had uh, people like Hank Snow, Marty Robbins, just a whole package deal of the Grand Ole Opera stars. So he booked Elvis with acts, you know. At that time, Evans' manager was named Bob Neal. He was a disc jockey there in Memphis. So, uh, Evans got to liking the Colonel and the Colonel got to liking him, so that's where it started. Colonel Parker is an honest man. And I think that's where the, the big organization and the big uh, togetherness comes, you know? Once you find out you don't have to worry about a guy, being your manager, what he's gonna do for you. He handles it, you do the show, and everything works well. First Elvis fans arrived at this spot at four yesterday afternoon. Right now, this is the head of the line. However, the line just starts at the door. At 10 this morning, it extended the length of the sixth floor, down a ramp, into the parking garage, and up to the wall. Hundreds of devoted Elvis fans. Where are they? What about the last man in line? Right now, at least, you're at the end of the Elvis line. Uh, do you realize how long you're going to have to wait? No, I don't. I'm hoping to find out, though. You want to try two and a half, three hours? That'll be all right. I got all day. The people in the Elvis ticket line, in case you haven't noticed by now, were for the most part women, ages 25 to 45 or so. And very cheerful, considering the temperatures in the 30s, the fact they were late for work, the three-hour wait, and the reality that tickets run from 15 down to $10 each. Is it worth it? Oh, yes, I've been waiting 20 years to get to see Elvis. <laughs> and now I just got my ticket. How long have you been an Elvis fan? Uh, ever since grade school. <laughs> That's a long time ago. <laughs> As for the men, they all said they were in line because they were getting tickets for their wives. Such devotion. It's her birthday next week. <laughs> she wanted to go to Elvis. Uh, my wife always wanted to see him. <laughs> what other kind of idiot gets up early in the morning and stands out here all day? The ticket sales opened at 8 this morning. By 3 this afternoon, the long lines had disappeared, and so had 14 of the 17,000 tickets for the June 26th concert. 
but we're told that tickets in all prize ranges are still available. At Market Square, they must be counting the take the hip-swiveling, guitar-twanging idol has brought them. And in all this, are there any non-Elvis fans? You betcha. Are you an Elvis fan? No. Why are you standing here, then? Getting some tickets. <laughs> With Mama. Linda Lupier for the News, Channel 6.